And so in this project, uh, we had to do the methodology was kind of challenging. So first we had to work with the documents from the control of budget because we could get them online. When we picked the CBROPs and compared to the control of budget, we found quite fascinating things because for the same year, the same department, the same quarter, the same county, the COB and the CBROPs had different figures. And so the first question we asked ourselves was, which, which, which figures do we now use for budget credibility? So that was the first challenge. Uh, as we clean data, you find a few errors here and there. Another challenge was uh, you've come from different counties. Unajua how they shift departments. Eh? Yes. So one year this is youth, sports and something. Next year it's education, youth. And, and so even tracking money in those four years, because we did 2014-15 to 2017-18 was a challenge. We also used the COB, the CBROPS, Auditor General, the quarterly implementation reports. We were able to access them. However, they were not public, so I had to get them via email for those years, uh, especially 2014-15, 2016-17. And all these is to look for justifications. What are each? What is each document telling us about why the county is not implementing the entire budget? Okay, we picked health uh, as a sector to present today. So on average, recurrent was 84%. Uh, so that is for the four years for Nyeri County. The national average was 80%. So it was just slightly above. However, when it comes to development for those four years, it was at 56%. Right? Uh, the national average was 58%. So we are saying development, we are not doing that well. So you kind of find, especially development, it's erratic, but performing even worse, even going downwards. A sector like health. Uh, we find in 2014-15, the recurrent absorption was 103%. Okay, 103. 2015, 91. Then 2016, 104. 2017, 121% absorption. So it's a heavy one. So when you hear 121%, it really, for recurrent, it really makes you wonder. Uh, for development, 2014 was 80%, so 80%, then 2015, 70%, then 2016, 95%, then 2017, 11%. Okay, quite a drop. And uh, I'm not sure that is development for health. Okay, so it's erratic, but 2017, 18, down. So, of course, a few issues were like the IFMIS, uh, downturns, uh, challenge their disbursements. Uh, however, we, we kept challenging this because uh, the same way John has said, why is it one department is absorbing more at a late disbursement? Yet procurement, munatumia the same department, procurement process ni the same, IFMIS system ni the same, kama kulikuwa na downturn, downturn in Kenya, Ainyeri, uh, one department and another one was left. Uh, when we did budget credibility, it's not just about spending, it's also about revenue. So, like local revenue, counties, they were very ambitious. Our county was very ambitious. And he set 1.3, then he got 1.4 billion, but then it could only collect half. Right? And as this came into play, they started realizing eh, this is affecting our budgets badly because of pending bills. And so over the years they have been rationalizing the target. So right now it's at 1 billion. Now why is this very important? It's because the target of 1 billion is what is captured in the budget as if it's money we shall collect. And so that 1 billion, all of it is committed to projects. So when you don't collect the one billion, there is a gap, okay? And that gap leads to some few issues. And this is where you start seeing pending bills. Because someone supplied and there is no money. Because we didn't collect the one billion, okay? 
And so that brings in the issue of also budget credibility. And the final thing we also discovered is that between quarter one, Pesa Ile allocated in quarter one, and quarter four is very different. Okay? So there is a shift. So somehow you'd expect if we gave you 100 shillings at quarter one, at a quarter four, the allocation should still remain as 100. However, supplementary budgets are done in there. And we find you either have less or more by quarter four, which also raised that issue John was alluding to. So if we would expect, if we had the, the best way of planning our budgets, then we wouldn't need the supplementaries to adjust monies. Yeah. What is the revenue collection for Nyeri? The revenue collection. Now is 1 billion. Yes. What is their collection? 2017 was like 600 and something. Then we came into 2018, 760. And now for 2018 19, it's around 840 there. Uh -huh. Supposing a contractor oh, okay. was given a con something to. Finance department in Apewa, budgetary reserves that will cover the pending bills, okay? So that is how my county handles it. And so you, when you go there, budgetary reserves, the pending bills is all. Now that we have seen there's a very big decline uh, when you look at the development expenditure. Yeah. Does it mean that Nyeri County has already established structures in all these facilities? They don't need to construct more of these buildings. They don't need uh, more development. Maybe they started with a huge development or initially yeah. the national government they developed these facilities so they don't need to develop more. They only need now to use more money on the economy. The way absorption works is uh, if we give you 100 for development and you only use 11 more. You see we already planned to use 100. That means we need the development. That's why we gave you 100 bob but then you, are, you only used 11 in that year. Right? So it doesn't mean we don't, we don't want the development. It means you just use 11 bob of what we gave you. So come on in Yumba, you kind of absorbed only a foundation level. And you got an hospital, you got two foundation. You get. So we still need the, the entire hospital. So kind of like that. Eh?